Invasive pest status enables organizations to track the status of invasive pest monitoring activities in support of the Cooperative Agricultural Pest Survey, Farm Bill, and other programs. The solution is a configuration of Web App Builder for ArcGIS and uses information collected with invasive pest surveys to monitor activities and progress towards program goals. When first accessing the application, we can see a map view of all the monitoring locations in the state symbolized by pest status. The list in the panel also reflects the status of monitoring sites, enabling us to quickly get access to information about a location with a suspected pest. Within the pop-up, I can review the information about this site as well as get access to the full inspection history. It looks like a sample is taken at this site and is currently being evaluated. Below the map, I have two panels displaying key performance indices, a total site count and a total visit count. The visit count is presented with a gauge display. The gauge allows us to set a threshold or a target value that when crossed, changes the status. When we hit 250 site visits, the gauge will turn green, letting us know our program goal has been met. Similarly, with a monitoring location count, we can ensure that we're meeting program goals for number of sites monitored. Within the application, we can filter the view for specific surveys or types of pests using the Filter tab. After applying filters for active sites and target species equals false codling moth, we can see that we have 43 active sites in that category. With invasive pest status, we can understand if monitoring program goals are being met and identify where suspected pests are within the state. To learn more about invasive pest status and for a step-by-step -step guide to configure it for your organization, please visit the solution site. Thanks for watching.